If you are also want to use your own personal chat GPT, which you can use offline, also you can use it with 100% data security, so I'm going to explain you each and every step from scratch how to install and run Local GPT. First, I go to the GitHub, name Local GPT. Here you will get the, all the information about the Local GPT. As you can see with using Local GPT to our system, we can chat with our documents and files with proper data security. You can use it offline without a network connection. Local GPT offers enhanced privacy and security by keeping your data within your own system. This eliminates the risk of sensitive information being exposed to third-party providers and gives you complete control over your data. In the feature section, you can clearly seize the advantage to using local GPT, like versatile model support, API, and many more. If you want more details, you can scroll down for this. So, our first step is to download this GitHub repository. For this, click on code, and at the last, you get the option of download. Download this zip file to your system. After the file is downloaded, open the file location to your file explorer. Right-click and extract the files. After extracting all the files, double-click to see the files. Now our first step is completed and we go to our second step. In the second step, we have to create a separate environment for our model. So we need to install Miniconda. If you already have Miniconda inside your system, you can skip this part. So to install Miniconda Go and search Miniconda and open the first link. Click on Miniconda Installer for Windows. Then choose the second option, which links with the Python version. At last, click on Windows 64 bits option to start downloading process. It is Aprox of 70 MB. Afterwards, open the location where our Miniconda is downloaded. Double click on Miniconda, click on Next, click on I agree, choose the option Install for me, then click on Next. And at the end, click on Install. Miniconda is already installed in my system, so I am not going to cancel it. Afterwards, search Anaconda to your Windows Search and double-click to open the terminal. Now we have to see the path of our local GPT folder. For this, go back to File Explorer and see the path of the folder. Now use CD download command to change the current directory, and using this command, we come inside our Downloads folder. DIR command, which shows you all the directory present in your downloads. Here you can see we have local GPT folder inside it. Now to go inside our local GPT folder, we use CD local GPT command. After all this, we are going to create our Conda environment. To create a Conda environment, use this command. Then hit enter. Type Y to proceed. After doing thing thing, we have to activate our Conda environment. To activate the environment, use Conda activate local GPT command. Let me clear the screen using CLS command. As you can see, we are inside our environment. Step three, install all the requirement. This command will install all the requirement libraries and packages to your system. If you want to check what libraries or packages is going to be installed, just go to local GPT folder. Open the folder, and here you see a folder name requirement.txt. Double click to open the file, and you can see all the libraries and packages which we're going to install to your system. Hit enter to proceed. It will take some time. After it is done, go to our next step. Step three, embedding the text. We use python ingest.py which is used to embedding the text of your system to vector database, which we're gonna use by our model to answer. Here you can see it uses Orca paper PDF and import data of this document. After importing it cuts or splits the large document to small chunks. After this is done, heads towards our last step. Step four, run the local GPT. Use python run local gpt.py. This command will install the model to your local system. The model is Aprox of 4 GB. It will take some time to load, depending upon your internet speed. Also, I want to tell you that using this procedure model will use CPU power, 
but if you have GPU, then I will provide my article link in description where you can get all the codes with proper instruction of each step. This command will load the model and you can access your model through your terminal. As you can see as an example, using this command, our model run on our terminal. But if you want web interface for the model, there is also an option or this. Now for web UI, use this command, Python local GPT UI dot py. This command will give a link for web UI, copy the link and paste it to your browser. Afterwards, your interface will look like this. You can ask any question to this like chat GPT and enjoy your personal chat GPT. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions or suggestions in the comments section below.